This is a pretty momentous occasion. If you follow Babylist, you know that we are here to help you with your journey through parenthood, whether it be with guides or with a really great um, all-in-one universal registry that you can add anything from anywhere. We've got videos, we've got Instagram lives. We also have a shop and that's the main reason I'm here today. We're dropping something in the shop that is so exciting, so exclusive, so much needed, and I'm here to unbox it today. Are you ready? I don't know if you're ready, because I mean, it's gonna be exciting. You ready? Ba -ba -da -da, the Baby List Baby First Aid Kit. There you have it. Hear it all. It's beautiful glory. This kit is built out of a labor of love. We teamed up with doctors. ER doctors and said, what do we need for baby's first year? How do we get something that can be so helpful to help parents so that they don't have to be concerned about making those last minute drug, uh, drugstore trips you know, when they really need something to take care of baby? And there's this giant kit now that's designed to help you avoid those trips and really just give you the guidance that you need to mend and tend your baby. I'll explain that in just a minute. Um, for size reference, just for fun, I went ahead and grabbed my travel kit, first aid kit. It's a little bit beat up, but let me put it next to you. It's a little bit bigger as you see, but I'll show you what's inside and you'll see why it's so big. Let me give you another size reference. I got a pack of travel wipes. I would say it's about the size of two travel packs of wipes. It's just so cute too. It's like a little baby briefcase. I totally have ideas for how to repurpose this once it's no longer holding first aid goodies, but that's for another time. Let's get into it, shall we? Baby first aid kit. Looks like you can see it well. I'm gonna get more comfortable. Here we are, boom. Again, don't mind me looking up. I'm just making sure that you can see everything that I am seeing. Oh, there is a sticker. This text right here says void if broken. So when it arrives in your mail, that's what it would look like. That was a satisfying noise. Okay, there we are. Da, 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 da. Look on the inside. That's that mend and tend I was talking about. So on one side of the box, you have all the items you would need to mend owies and then tend owies. And I will explain what the classification of that means as we go along. I think the most helpful way that I can show you what's inside is actually by helping you follow the step-by-step -step directions that are right here on the box. So let me just double check everything's uh, moving smoothly. On the box, you can't see the text, so I'll read it for you. What it says up top is obviously Call 911 if dot, 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 and runs you through all the situations that like, if you're pulling this first aid kit out, not totally sure if you should be calling 911, these are the things ER doctors have told us, definitely call <laughs> if this is what you're experiencing. Then I see on the mend side, the first one says fever. So if I need to mend a fever, what do I do? So I'm gonna open up my little mend tab. It says, place baby on a stable surface, apply surgical lubricant. Okay, so I'm assuming that means there's lubricant in here and voila. There's lubricating jelly. There's a couple lubricating jellies. All right here. So we would apply surgical lubricant to the tip of the thermometer, which what do you know is also in here. <laughs> so we've got all these things we need. Apply surgical lubricant to the tip of the thermometer. Then it walks you through how to insert the thermometer. So you've got everything you need right here, right? I'm gonna set this behind me. After that, it walks you through when you're done taking a temperature, you would wipe down the thermometer with an alcohol prep pad, which also is in here. Got a couple. So you need to have a couple to keep you going for a while. And then after that, um, according to a fever chart, which would help you understand like, it does baby really have a fever? Um, oh, I'm sorry, the acetam acetaminophen dosage. So we've got fever medication dosing chart. Can you see this? Let me put it up a little closer. This helps you understand how much Tylenol should I be giving my baby based on their age based on their weight really actually. That's how doctors recommend that you dose babies if they need it. That's included in the kit. So it's just really, as you see, oh no, baby has a fever, what do I do? Step by step by step, you've got everything that you would need to figure it out. So that is just step one of the mending. It's included in the Babyless Baby First Aid Kit. Next thing that's on here is for CPR. It clearly says on here if you, uh, Although of course we hope we never, you never have to use CPR. It's important to know the steps. And so they're on this card. If you want to bust out the first aid kit and have this card available, they're all handy right here. And then just for safekeeping, you also have an emergency phone list on the back of the CPR card. 
another solid thing to have inside your baby first aid kit. <laughs> Two things. Moving on, we've got nasal suction. So if you needed to treat baby for some, you know, we've got some congestion, they can't really breathe super well, what do you do? We're gonna take the nasal spray, that's also included. And by the way, this is a full-sized nasal spray. I know it's difficult to kind of gauge size based on me just showing it to you, but it's 1.5, like 1.5 fluid ounces here. So it's not one of the little tiny travel ones. This is a good sized nasal spray inside this kit that also comes with a full-sized nasal bulb. And so it just walks you through again what you would do with this, how you would relieve baby's congestion, and it has all the stuff that you would need right here. Um, here's the Tylenol, by the way. I forgot to show you that for the fever. <laughs> You have the dosage chart and also the Tylenol to accompany the dosage chart. Uh, what else do we have? Common rashes. So we've got some Phytoplex. I think that's the way you would say that. It's just Z guard paste. If baby has a rash or minor irritation, you can open this guy up. It kind of looks, um, this is good for diaper rashes, things like that. It's a zinc oxide type thing, as you see. Can you see? There it is. Oh no, it's gonna make a mess now, isn't it? Go back in, there we go. Okay, and again, full size. Like this is one of those, kind of like one of those large lotions that you could put in your bag. Um, that's the size of this guy. So all of this is in here. And then also on the men's side, we've got a bunch of gauze sponges um, and some, some large, some small, you know, different sizes. You never know what you might need. So that is the complete package for the men's. Let's move on to the 10, shall we? On the tend side, if baby has teething pain that you would like to tend to, you're in luck because we've got a little first toothbrush that's silicone. Let me show you what's inside. Basically what you do is put this on your finger and then massage baby's gums because they're sad and that will help their teeth feel a little bit better. Da -da -da -da. It comes in a little handy case. Keep it clean after you rinse it off. And there you have it. A little teething pain brush. <laughs> Use it to, you can even brush their teeth with it um, with a little bit of toothpaste after. Yeah, so multi-purpose. You've got this little guy when they're small. It's very cute. Um, and then after that, once you've given them a little gum massage, you can also give them this teether. It's a um, cool ring teether, so you can throw it in the freezer um, or you can, um, it's a non-toxic chewable teether a non-toxic chewable teether. So I say throw it in the freezer because that's what my babies liked. They liked what they liked when it was cold. You don't have to freeze it though. It's also just like a nice consistency for them to kind of gnaw on. And it's got some little textures on it. If you look close, you can see that there are a couple of little textures that would really help their gums feel massaged, stimulated. I don't know. <laughs> They're struggling a little bit on the teeth front. So this will be really helpful for that. And again, huge, normal, full size um, that's included in this Good sized kit. What else would we need a 10? Cradle cap. So if baby has cradle cap and you're trying to figure out what would you do for that, let's see. Cradle cap is caused by harmless buildup of oil and skin, which appears as a yellow scalpy patch surrounded by a red rash on your baby's scalp. So use the double-sided baby comb. Okay, where's that? Let's see. Double-sided baby comb. Bing. And then remove, it'll help loosen and remove the cradle cap scales and then shampoo more frequently and then also use a wooden brush and comb for maintenance, which is also included. Let me show you. Ta-da! So you've got all these things that you could then use to deal with cradle cap if you needed to. What else do we have here? Newborn nail trimming. We have got <laughs> cut baby's nails to avoid unintentional scratches. Yes. Um, try to cut baby's nails when they're asleep or calm. While they're pushing, while pushing down on the fingertip skin, use nail scissors, which are here. Nail scissors. You're getting the real unboxing, like taking everything out of the packaging and everything. <laughs> Here's the nail scissors. And then there is also the option to use an emery board to finish off any sharp edges. So if you don't want to keep using scissors to cut stuff. There's little nail files for babies. Um, there's 10 of them in this little pack. Give them their little baby manicure. Um, and then also we have some stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to show you this too for the baby oil for the cradle cap. There's a little sample in there as well. This might be the smallest sample of stuff in this entire box because this is everything is such a good size and this is a 
the smallest bottle, but at the same time, baby oil, you only need a drop or so. So it, it makes sense, um, the proportions of everything that's included. Let's see, did I get everything? Um, oh, there's also a pacifier for tiredness. Um, I, I meant to mention this for tiredness. If baby's struggling, having a little bit of a hard time needing to soothe themselves, we've got the Nano Baby Flexi pacifier in here. This might not be something you keep in your first aid kit. It'll probably be something you remove and keep around. <laughs> so there's that. And then I believe that's everything. Obviously, if you wanted to keep the cute little cardboard cutouts in there, you could. If you don't, you don't have to. Just for kicks and giggles, I'll show you the whole thing um, one more time as like a full package since I've just completely pulled everything out. It's just so jam-packed full. I'm so impressed. Here it is. Da 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 da, mend and tend. For those of you just tuning in too and haven't seen, you can go back and I'll show you everything that was just inside on the men's side, on the 10 side, and then of course up here, step-by-step -step directions on how to deal with all the mending and tending. So really impressive kit. Um, as I said, we worked with doctors to ask for their recommendations and figure out what would be the best and how to help provide the step-by-step -step instructions. I will say if you've now gotten through this whole unboxing and you're like, where are the band-aids at? <laughs> you're not alone. I asked myself the same question, but keep in mind that babies, this is, this is a baby first aid kit and babies, at least through toddlerhood, don't need full blown sticky band-aids right at first. Um, that's what you have these really great gauze packs for, all of this. This will be really helpful to keep things clean, wipe away any blood or dirt or things like that, and then just keeping the area open. Um, and then obviously just know that you will use stuff that's in this first aid kit and start emptying it out over time. And then you can start adding the Band-Aid collection into this because I think I definitely have about four packs of Band-Aids in my bathroom because all of my kids like to wear them as stickers and look for every opportunity they can to put on a Band-Aid. So that'll be good once some things have been emptied out because you've used them when baby is super small, once you get to toddlerhood. Um, and it's, again, this is a really good sized pack to just keep all of your stuff handy, including this um, emergency card and the dosage chart and things like that over time. Um, the CPR card, it's really, really handy. So if you're wondering how much this costs, I believe, I wanna confirm, cause I'm blanking right now. I believe it is $79.99. Yes, $79.99. And I will say this too, um, as you are building your registry, you might notice that there are some other kits for babies. Um, but what I've noticed is there's generally grooming kits and then there are health kits. So there's like some kits that have stuff to help with congestion, um, so they've got all the nose stuff and the bulb syringes and stuff. And then there are other kits in, that include the, the brushes and the nail trimmers. This one has both, which is really cool. Um, and as I said, it's just, it's got the ability to really stand the test of time since it's in this really nice carrying case and become a band-aid holder later, coloring book holder later, whatever you may need <laughs> for $79.99. Along with teaming up with doctors for this first aid kit, Baby List also teamed up for a bunch of really helpful health content. So how to treat burns, how to deal with uh, medication, medication dosages, um, like how to understand them, how to, what else do we have? How to help and help and prevent choking in babies. I mean, there's a whole slew of like dozens of articles now that are doctor vetted. Um, I'm seeing all the comments come in. You guys are doing great. <laughs> so we have a lot of really helpful content. You can check out babyless.com forward slash hello dash baby or just check out the Instagram story highlight after this. Um, I'll swipe up links so you can find all of it really easy. But I think the combination of this kit along with that content will really set you up for success in terms of wrapping your head around how to take care of your baby. Um, I think it was funny when I was registering for my baby, my first one, I was so excited about the clothes and about the car seat even. And then once I realized, oh shoot, I might need to have stuff to help his stuffy nose or Tylenol or things like that. I got a little bit overwhelmed, but then I realized when you find a kit like this that kind of puts it all in one spot and then directs you on how to use it, it's, it's very nice and anxiety reducing. So if you're looking for something similar, if you're in that phase of life, congratulations. Um, but also it's, it's definitely a, a one-stop shop in that way. The Baby List Baby First Aid Kit. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch the unboxing. I hope you follow Baby List if you're looking for some more cool content like this in an awesome registry as you navigate new parenthood.